Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Big Massive Podcast. How's it going? All right now? No. I think I'd relearn there. Give it a little thing. What? A camp man, um, I need scissors to cut it and take it apart. Was that from the interview day? <sighs> good stuff, good stuff. No, I was saying, see when just, uh, see the day when we were doing that circle ring and you were like, can anything be better? And you are just like, Ugh, boys, sharing me boys. You went down to the toilet, there was somebody cleaning the toilets, went up under the room, and then I went there, I was not feeling great, and he had shite in the toilet, and then the whole fucking, the whole thing was pebbled after your shit. Where? In the, in the room? No. I, I went downstairs, I had the decency to leave the room. But you came back up because there was a cleaner? What? You had to come back up under the room because there was a cleaner in the, the toilet downstairs? You said that? Did I? <laughs> shitting, I'm good at shitting. <laughs> Where'd the share room? And then McGurk straight on, he just drops through. <laughs> you're sleeping, snoring, he's shiting. Like, um, and you're a wank, you were a wanker mode all morning. Oh, uh, you were the same? Uh, so he was meant to pick me up. You were meant to pick me up. They go to this your house? Too sad residential. I was, were, that, I was you, at your house. What well, do you fucking never answer me questions? What? I didn't see it. Right. So I was saying, right, he's not getting But back. I rang you, I was at your house. I was like, where are you? I'm on my way to residential here. I'm sitting at his house. I checked the sat nav and it takes two hours, ten minutes to get to the place. It took an hour and a half. An hour and a half? Took me three hours to get home today. No way. My sat nav fucking more or less sent me to Portrush. You want to see where I was, man? I was in all the wee loyalist places that if you broke down, I had my my rosary beads were swinging on the fucking thing. Me not even praying to the man. I was home home for four o'clock. Four? Five o'clock, I was home there. <laughs> I knew. I knew. The sat nav fucked me over, man. I didn't know sat, ta- sat navs were allowed to do that. Aye, but there, so was a, there, there was a wee loyalist in that sat nav going, let's bring him through every wee loyalist village. And I swear to God, the rosary beads are like, no, you getting the, Do you ever notice up around them Protestants there, do you ever think richer? Oh, yeah. Roads are better and there's nice... Yeah, yeah. There's a few Euro stars there's for nice, people that don't like Europe. There's nice trees. Trees are even better. Plants, you know, flowers. Yeah, yeah. They look after the place much better. The, the, birds, are, the birds are singing. Whistling the sash. It's like a, it's like a Disney film. You know, a bird's landed on your finger and all. Aye. Like Mary Poppins. <laughs> <laughs> they just put their arms out and birds <laughs> land. You open the, the, the double windows in the morning. <laughs> all the Protestant birds land on top of you. Blue tits and all. <laughs> you fucking blue breasts. But no. So it ended up fucking. I should have remembered the names of the places I was in. I could probably find it. In me, you know that thing where you, where you know where I'm at. But you have to, you have to like help the sat nav. Like you just can't stick in because sometimes it's I was. A, I just way. wanted to get home, so I stuck it in and I just started following. But it was like I was driving for about ten minutes and it just says an hour and thirty minutes. Because I put in dairy. Because once I get onto the motorway, I know where I'm at. Aye, but that I seen that. I think mine initially went that way up the up along the, the coast. coast. Aye, so I went more or less along the coast the whole way home. Aye, and then I was like, oh, I want to just the quickest way to the M two. So I just put the wee one that went that straight to the quickest to the M two. So we're in the M two in about fifteen minutes. I was more going to where did you used to work? Balmina. Aye, that's, that's the way I went. And then going towards Corey, and then I had to turn back because I seen I turned it off one stage because was a, was the M two the Belfast. I said, that's me now. Turned it off and it was like fucking lesbian. You're going to Belfast. <laughs> all that. No, I'm going night. Oh, second day. Second the whole way home. Just. And you know what? Do you know what the weather was, was nice. A, I was getting a tight. Aye. Tired. How to stop? Talkers. How to get fuzzy sweets? Aye. We. I had to stop for a bag Christmas coffee. Aye. Just saw him. And there's no to stop to it. Didn't I stop in some other places? Like, no, you wouldn't. Keep know. moving along. No. And then when I got home then, there was a big, did you see that, all the cops up the bypass? Mm. There was like a sting. Uh, they're all wearing like fucking military outfits. Uh, they're like, stopped a druggy drug dealer. Was it? I think it's like something like that. Uh, oh, Straban for you there, boys. Or somebody driving for you, Straban. Uh, Straban is a bad name. Even anybody in that residential we were at all weekend, if you mentioned Straban. Fuck Straban. Me and Believe have, have, will have a theory, Right. Straban people are mad bastards, but it's because we all come from the same fucking two mad bastards <laughs> from years ago. Aye. Because nobody moves the Straban. I know what we'll do. Get the wins and we'll move the Straban. Highest unemployment in Europe. My Let's dad, move this fucking my dad Straban. Move the Straban. There you go. There's always one. But then, what kind of person are you to move the Straban? Because uh-huh. he moved the Straban back when we were, we did have number one unemployment black spot 
in the UK? Aye. I was I was nineteen eighty. Nineteen eighty one we moved to when I was one. I, I, so I that's why we're all mad. We all come from a super mad generation. Hmm. And then we had some Straban new Straban heads on them who were very Strabani. Did they? <laughs> or just uh, just pure Straban. <laughs> Many Straban people were at one, at one point, she was one of the Straban person was talking to the CEO, and I was halfway down the park, and I just had to shout up, Why are you shouting? She was just roaring in her she face. Loud, eh? loud. Why are you roaring in her mm. face? They, they must have been this far apart talking. Yeah. Just roaring. Mm. You'll, enjoy, you'll enjoy that. How many Straban? Five years? Uh, we were well behaved, but bad for a while. Uh, yeah. Or McGurk was saying, where was it, like one o'clock? Mm. I was up, you came up by quarter past. We then bed. Stick yeah. the knife deep on the people. Oh, uh, I just do a normal bit of backstabbing. No, no, <laughs> that happens at every residential. But you don't want to Some people didn't even sleep in their own rooms. No. See, I don't, uh, them days have to be gone for me. I was at a pint where I knew if I stay out, if I take another pint, because I ended up, I think I had a shot as well, somebody gave me a shot. Mm. I was going down that road. I would sit the six or seven like I'm the last to go to bed I'd be fucking knocking people's doors oh man I know and I just had to kind of keep the bit of the manager head on I just remember that's right and you can't be <laughs> running around the night you have to keep a wee bit of it we're still but uh, hey everybody there was trying to get you to oh I there was ones asking me do you want to be half an on I'm like I bleed and me too and bleed kept going do you want to be pint take a pint take a wee vodka no vodka him and Tommy used to do it too because anybody that knows that listens to this pod knows when it, it's like the incredible hook once I take a vodka it's just that like even when I st- I'm off it now a couple of years I do slip up the odd time but near the end when I stopped it I remember taking a drink of vodka and just, just started looking around the room going you have to right there <laughs> I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Give me a shout tomorrow. <laughs> Swear to God. One tack goes down, hey, and I mean, goes under my fucking neck. That's a funny premise. Like, you're just about to. I, I, I know it's. I'm disappearing. Yeah, like, you're about to leave. Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. He puts me to sleep. Yeah, I'll take it from here. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's just right! What's that film where you had Naked! A, where you step under the light, and that's the. <laughs> inside their body. He's just Whoever's in the light, that's the person controlling the body. No, I've never seen and that. Somebody walks in, he takes them out of the light and then the door preps. That's just... Like an X-Factor I'll, or something? I'll take it from here. Aye. So that boy comes out then. And even Arlo would say to me, fucking you last night. No, and I'm going, Arlo, that wasn't me. That wasn't no... It was me, but there's no point in me trying to break it down and give you a theory of why I fucking sat in seven faces and broke a window, you know what I mean? <laughs> or zero. Uh, there's no point. There's none. You're a wild man too with anxiety. Like, that that video of you is just dancing, but see the day when you're in bad form and anxiety, you're just like... Ugh. No, getting the wind going, I've seen you. I, what was that? I said, well, I would work. It didn't look like work, anyway. way. Oh, mm. I said, why are you so tired? And I was like, I said, I thought you were going to your bed. <laughs> I, like, I know, but... <laughs> yeah, my plan was to not drink. No, nah, I know, but... But then there was wine. It would been a long night. Aye. And then I said, it was just a wee... I done it right. Sippity dippity, but... Still be tired, because I had us up early, <laughs> fucking wagon beaches and all. I wouldn't say I was like even maybe tipsy, but see the hangover today still. I, I think it's because we were hanging from the night before. Uh, me and him were just like we were too just, just out of the woods, <laughs> and we just jumped straight back on. <laughs> you were just like <laughs> we got the all clear, yeah. just because of the, we didn't speak to each other right up the lunch time. It was just one of them jobs there. Oh. Because he was, we didn't. We went up in different cars and everything. Ha, to be honest, he I drove was, on. I just wanted to go on my own. He uh, just drove on uh, because I went down to the fair. They watch Glen Rose and have one pint. The sun came out. And I says, Dara, we'll get a pint. It's a lovely day for it. Like, come in here, actually. Got to put it in the plastic cup and everything. I actually changed my mind at one stage because the clouds covered the sun. And I'm like, fuck it. What's the point? I ended up drinking all night then. And then on Sunday... You were away down to Bell Sonic, was it? Aye. So Sunday night I was hanging. I was like, we still have a podcast to do because we haven't had one in two weeks because we're running. So we better get one this week. Text him. Hey, what time? Text me back almost right away. Eight o'clock. I was like, "What do you mean?" No, I was like, "That's that's too late." I was like, "What time is it to be in Belfast?" That's I was what like, is oh, wrong, wrong thing. I says, "We have a podcast to do the night." Silence. Rona. <laughs> Rona. See at the stage. Rona. I had the, the curtains closed, and I watched fucking what do you call Avengers the last two, in peace. But it was like one of them, you know, hangovers. You're just farting and don't want anybody around you. And when somebody sticks their head on the door to go, I smell you, and I'm like, "You're fucking farting, nice." 
fucking bastards. Do you know what I mean? Just leave me alone to die and mother and... He drove on. No podcast the night before. <laughs> I looked at the thing and there was fucking icebreakers and the, the chairs were the chairs were all lined out like speed dating. I was like, fuck. Do you know what? It was a great day. Brilliant. It was a great two days. Uh, Except for the speed dating part. That was our, our fault, but we weren't coming in fucking... <laughs> we were like... <laughs> I'm trying to motivate myself, and then after lunch, we started coming round ourselves. Everything was all brilliant. The day went well, and then we weren't going to drink, and then we started drinking, and then we're now we're here, so like two uh, And then the nice beast up too was class. Or oh, well, that would have brought you around big time. I did. I, well, I felt great after that. I was like, Whoa, so did you have the watch from the steam room across down them wee steps? Yeah. That was wild fire, like you'd be cold by the time you get the water. No, not when the body temperatures up, but forget. you sprint straight on. Aye. See somebody dived and landed on their face. The water from that deep. Aye, it's not deep, man. That's the worst one. <laughs> oh, See when you want to get under the water quick, but it's, but it's wide shallow. Oh, you're you hunkering to, down and all. You're doing that. You have to just roll under it. Just. Aye. It was aye. good, but aye. then we just it's a lovely part of the world. Aye. Class, man. Jesus. The water is like Spain. The water was like crystal fucking clear. Aye, but the blue. looks of it too, and it just looks mm. a class part, part of the. Country. Just what is <laughs> pure pro- orange Protestant? The old there. Protestants. <laughs> you yes. tell, sir. All the pictures were Northern Ireland. Aye. but still, I enjoyed myself. These aren't that bad. Do you know what? The, uh, we we done a speed dating thing, and one of the questions was you had to ask the person who's you, who if you could have any celebrity boss, who would it be? I was thinking about it, and I was like. Stevie Wonder would be a good one. They were like, why? And I was like, because like, if you land on later, you leave early, you'd be like... Mm. Then, the more, you, then I told it to everybody, I thought... You told that to three of your employees, eh? Uh, I thought... And <laughs> even, just, even bosses are going to be thinking, uh, he just loves getting away, and they'll uh, be right. Yep. I said David Brancher. I just want somebody to mess all day. Just. Mm. <laughs> Imagine Brent was your boss. I'd be his PA. Oh, and do you know what? At that point, I was at peak. Go on, just fucking leave me alone. And we were doing... Speed dating, we had a talk See, they're propelling new staff, so you got to get the number. Aye, it was tough. Because it was the same man answer you're giving. Aye. Uh, David Brent. <laughs> the first couple. The first one was, oh, David Brent, man, because of And the next one, then you're just less. And then the last two was just David Brent. <laughs> Go on, you tell me yours now, and then I'm just listening. Aye. We went back into the old eye. <laughs> One boy just came up and I started talking about something else and the buzzer went and he just went on. Hi! Did you end up chatting about anything? Yeah. Sure, I think that's just a degenerate conversation, anyway. Anyway. Good, good couple yeah, of days. Good, good. So, how did you end up? Well, hard to go back straight on the work in the morning, but tomorrow's just like organising now, a meeting straight away. Yeah, so we've like, done like a closing circle, everybody said, and everybody was like, ah, oh, we're off tomorrow and we'll take it down, and nobody was biting. Oh, bleed on the funniest thing. I was marking somebody. I can't explain it because it wouldn't be funny if I explained it, but it's one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Hi. Just slagging somebody, just marking somebody, doing something. Bleed just a, does a face behind someone and you're talking, and you just, you're gone. You're gone. He's good, isn't he? Good crack guy. All the boys together, yes. I would ever believe it. Good wee click here. Yeah. And the new ones, new staff sound. Hate sharing rooms with people. Of course, we land on, he's already on the bed. <laughs> There's a double together and a single. Ladies and gentlemen, He's as soon as I went in, aye. <laughs> there's another one bleeding. Our old, one of our bosses was standing with bleeding this, in the gal and when he landed in, there's bleeding on top of the bed, like Brent, just, <laughs> there's a photo of it, like, he's got the leg up and all, no, just, <laughs> I think Bleed said to him, take a photo. <laughs> <laughs> no, paint me like I'm one of your fucking, you know what I mean? You know what, I need to remember that too, when we're doing them kind of gigs that... And all the boys together is going to laugh like. Aye. Well, could we all just, Tommy used to always hate doing things like that, going to Belfast and all there. I was always loving it. I said, we're getting paid and we're driving up and we're having the crack in the car. And mm. Drinking, but drinking and then all our days, tight. Drinking and then having to do another day? Aye. Aye, nobody's up for it. Because like. mm. there, there was a whole extra. But it wasn't work. No, but apparently there was a whole extra, but you know that they skipped out because. Aye, they were just like. No, nobody wants to be here. No. Like and then we, they were, were like, we were one of the early ones to go. The bed. Some good ideas there. So one of the things was everybody sits around the table and give you a post note, and you have to write down something, something funny that happened to you or embarrassing. And everybody wrote one down. It was a good laugh. Good reading through them all, and then trying to guess who. Oh, there's a girl at our table. Throw a cracker. She's in a restaurant, fancy restaurant, and they're eating the food in the middle, and 
uh, it all came over and she left it and she goes, hey, we're not finished, Dad. And she goes, what do you mean? This is that, the food in the middle. She goes, that's her decorations. <laughs> and it was varnished and everything. Fucking things with cocktail sticks in it and they were pulling it out. And it's not that nice for a restaurant, I guess. This is such decorations. Egypt starters was coming. They are like, <laughs> half it on them. Some good ones, eh? Showed up. And uh, then we don't we don't like a thing around the park where we had to take pictures and all it's good. It was gonna be treasure hunt type. Sweaty bag. Uh, it was warm, like it was mm. a nice day, yeah. No, I never heard of that place at all. Eh? Did you? Have you ever been up there before? Gally Gally? Aye. Aye. And that park and all? No, not in the park, but up in the hotel. The park's time. some job too, isn't it? Great the thing. shops are in it, no? Aye. You wouldn't get that in Gorchin? No. Oh, nice spot. Well, Garchins are turning into a really good spot now, too, isn't it? There's got a wee restaurant along with it. Mm. Coffee. Cafe, in the park and all. And the big man up the hill. Mm. 7K walk. From the bottom, I... We're on about bringing young people and they all laugh at us. <laughs> we are, we've taken young people a couple of times. We got absolutely drenched one day. I mean, everybody was sitting on the way home. So, I mean, soaked. And you have to leave them the dairy before you even get uh, home. <laughs> right enough, I had shorts. So well, you're your but you're just going straight home. Aye. Uh, no, I tight. Fucking tight. Even getting home today, I was like to the two staff, could you two not fucking live closer together? <laughs> two, ends, two different ends of town, like Spring Hill and Carton Drive. <laughs> <laughs> they should have just dropped themselves. I was going to offer to take one back, but just one a piece. Especially with me doing the detour oh, around the top of Ireland. I seen you two as soon as they said goodbye, you were just like, <laughs> she's later. Bye, everybody. Three hour round trip to get home. Yep. One to beat you. I was going to ring you when I got onto the the Glen Chain. I never got fucking from nearly three o'clock fucking on the Glen Chain pass. Fucking where am I? The sat and I was acting the just. I went for a shite. Had a wee snooze then. As an hour before you, I went for uh, a shite. Man, I had a, I had a twenty minute snooze. It brought me around like. I had a wee snooze there too. It's, I could see when I was texting you. I was going, I'm shattered. So we're nearly going to pull the plug and everything. Just tired like. Fuck. What else were, they, were, were we at this weekend? I was at Bell Sonic, hey. Good. Brilliant, hey. Paddy Raff, sing on it. Big shout out to fucking my friend Fenton Harvey, hey. Fenton Harvey, this is a good wee story. Colm, we're on about it at work. Yeah. Me and him were chatting, he was asking me, well, how's the comedy going? Are you talking? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good, for those who don't know, that's, that's actually a very good impression. Huh? Colm McGurk in the side there. He hits me on social media, so share that swim. Sexy. But he was saying, how's the comedy going? I says, I goes, do you remember the time? It was on about the time he seen me and Fenton before COVID. Me and Fenton were backstage, and there was about 11 or 12 people in the room. Green room, open mic, and the two of us were shitting ourselves. Saying, why are we doing this? It's the fucking worst thing at all. Does this ever go away? This Little we know, and I said, do calm. And I said, calm, see you on Saturday there. Fenton did 20 minutes in front of 8,500 people in the SSC arena. I think he's the third Irish comedian to do it. Right. Full, the full room. Eight, eight, eight and a half thousand. I know, I know Shane Todd and Colin Geddes would open right. for Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. We were at it. But I, she's the first female they felt. I man, he says, I had a ball. He looks so confident up there. He says, he's saying whenever, you talk, whenever you're talking, you hear yourself back a couple of seconds later. Because of the fucking size of the place. Just... But that's some from us and a wee room and a basement. It was the basement of the community yeah. house. And there, shiting ourselves like going, oh man, does this ever get easier? They going out there on Saturday in front of the eight and a half thousand people doing 20 months. Sometimes, but it, we were even just, I was chatting in the day. Um, so he's the better comedian now then? Aye. You're shite? Yep. That's it, the summed up in one fucking swoop, hateful move. Do you know what, ever, uh, no, this pod's helping, everywhere we're going, I fuckers listen to this, hey, fair play, just keep it up, and I want a big shout out to your sponsors, not one we have, not one fucking, why every other podcast, even one's Because probably we don't do pod, two podcasts, we can't manage two podcasts a week. Oh, that's just recent shit, and we're not Mickey and Connor. <laughs> no, we're not, no. <laughs> the Patreon still get there. Patreon's is where you want to be. That's the place you want to be. But why are we not? Like, I see everybody's got sponsors, even ones that aren't sort of have our numbers. Are we not reaching out or are they not reaching out no, to I'm us? I'm not reaching out because 
You're a fucking nightmare. You're the guy. Give me the money. What I do I have to do? <laughs> shave your pubes. <laughs> I'll shave my pubes. Where do you like a pound, little boy? Go on, go on say a few things about the sponsor there, Rona. <laughs> Much do we get? Oh! I'll start fucking <laughs> dancing and singing and fucking anything. I like it. It's Friday night, full. Fuck, or no, Saturday night. Every whole time through Electric Arcade, nightmare to get him to do anything. And then Arlen then want tickets for Saturday, start sharing everything. He's like, oh. No. <laughs> he sent me a text, asked me the shirt. Aye, and then you were like, Arlen's text him, can you get tickets? And can I? Arlen's at me for weeks. I says, of course. We can you not get tickets? Ah, you can't get tickets. We can, we're bound to be able to get tickets. I need to ask him. Fuck, we were going to be VIPs. I'm kicking them for Saturday night, but I'll be back down then. But it's be, what time is it? Over early. 11, half 11. Right. Starts early. Starts at 5, 5 to 11 or something. Oh, jazz will be swinging, boys. <coughs> Aye, man, that's what I was saying. We were uh, Bell Sonic House. Brilliant, sir. What? Uh, a farmer's song was called? What was it? No, it was the Farmer's Bash. was on the day before. Right. That's what Paddy Rav was doing. What, no, Black Paddy. Paddy Rav was seen video or... What do you call him was on stage with a band? Andrew Ryan. Ah, seen that Andrew didn't fucking play the fucking song. The pom poms. But I'll tell you what, I done our run and boil. What? We were standing at the bar, to like the right the left of the stage, couldn't see the band. Just hear the music. Did you? <laughs> the whole gig. There was just... a big long screen, like a kinda of part see, but we I didn't see the band at all. The experience ends there, is it? Ah man, it was just there was a load of people and we were all standing in the field drinking and the music. You didn't tell me you were going to this. You're keeping some secrets. Uh, Secret boy. I, do you know but what? I, would say I was going like to invite you to Cal McLaughlin's fight, but... Do you not know about that now? It isn't, gentlemen. I what said, the fuck are you talking about now? Are you going <laughs> to support my teammate? No, let's tell the truth. What story. are you talking about? Are you going to support my teammate, Cal? Support, support. <laughs> So I came out and said, Ronald, So what are we saying about Bell Sonic first? <laughs> let's, let's bring it back, because I want to hear. Right. That, was, that was the most it. <laughs> Who was gigging? Who was playing? Picture this. Uh, you were singing them, dude, two or two? Was it a rave or a band? Someone asked you that question, like, who was there? Picture this. Who are they? Sing the song. But, no, but right. this is Take my hand. A week ago walking. That's why you do it when you're a bad man. <laughs> Lump us get through the morning. That mazes. would be fucking pretty mental. That would be that will be hectic. They're uh, they're just the boys with the masks. No, rolling, 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 Aye. rolling, rolling. Good, eh? I bet then that song's over. Break, break shit or what? I call break stuff. That'll be a bad one. But uh, man, I heard to be the big. Fucking expensive, apple. but seven pound a pint. Was it better than a live pod? No, of course it wasn't. Right, it wasn't. Mm-hmm. Maybe we should book Bell Sonic somewhere. Definitely, they'll book us. We could definitely get 120 people on there. Easy. <laughs> would you get them on? <laughs> Imagine we go up to get a look around. Nice. Would you get 120? <laughs> well, we don't know if it's 120, but like 80 family and friends. <laughs> Imagine but, that. Hey, but man, expensive. Seven oh. pound a pint. Do you not bring in your? Boy was telling me about five vodkas and five mixers costing an eighty pound. Fuck that! I would have brought in the How? flask thing. Remember the things they had at the wedding? The drip. No. Aye, they were like the drips. The drips. Remember? Oh yeah, yeah. Remember they had it at the whole wedding. Oh, even, that's right. Didn't aye. even drink it. And like they didn't really pat you down. It was just a quirk. You could have had something in the back passage. A couple of ease. <laughs> <laughs> don't have find them. No. <laughs> they don't even do tabs anymore, do they? No idea, sir. That was the thing. That was the thing back in the nineties. Like ecstasy. Bouncers fucking loved that culture. There was no fights. No. Everybody loved each other. Just drinking off water, spitting water in faces, just dancing with fucking doe suits on and masks, uh, lying about, smacking, rubbing arbor soil in your doodly do. Uh. Smacking, massaging people, massaging each other, and stairs. No, we walking up the stairs, and we're lying there getting massaged. Yeah, that this to happen. <laughs> there was like dark corners, but I was like a fucking like a vampire. Boys lying on speakers, no, uh, mm-hmm. like a vampire uh, orgy. Uh, 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 lying on fucking speaker, man, this guy's ice oh. poles and all. Ah, uh, that's right, I uh, chewing them. <gasps> I mean the main when the 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 menthol chewing gums come out. What are they called? The breath, the breath ones. The I mean they were like hot. Oh. 
Ja, oh, helt det. And then you, you were attacking on the Inyo. Oh. <laughs> Poppers? People, people getting fucking, what do you call it? Vip or Vax? Vax. And just fucking... <laughs> <laughs> We're dancing front. He just turned all on. I'm not the hands going down. You're like, what the fuck's going? Yeah. I remember like poppers. first time going on. They one of them races was really it was an eye opener. Like mm. I think the first one I really went on day was sand uh, marshals. But I hit back in. I was like, fuck you, you bastard! Don't be bothered. <clears throat> Me on glue or something? <laughs> 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 Probably. <laughs> Fucking hell, I think that would have fucking... Good job, all that stuff wasn't about when we were younger. And all the shit that's about now. Mm. Experiment, man, you'd experiment away if you're fucking drunk. The interest, the stuff that, like... The, I, didn't, I can't remember a pile of deaths happening back in them days. Like, it was just, like, no. an ease. Nobody's dying. No. But now, people are just fucking there. Fuck, I was chatting there by the Hatfield before the gig. Wired. Smacking. Jaw going. Shut up. Sorry, but a... Uh, he, he, he had the you know the dirt was coming up oh, in the corner of the thing the and, and the slabbers were running down sir, and his nose was full of snots oh. he was telling me he was showing me a tattoo because he has a you out tonight tattooed on his leg and it was a whole thing and he was just like I was just, he just walked away you know that thing you said I <laughs> just leave just walked away because was, I was going to be sick I felt <laughs> sick talking at him oh man I can't watch and what could it happen to you one time I was doing a video with the orange man and I did it do you know when somebody's talking, there's a wee bit of spittle <laughs> in the lip. <laughs> and when they're talking, you just see the flame. <laughs> and once you see it, that's all you're looking at. I know, uh, and you're just like, you dirty bastard. <laughs> fucking. Or somebody that talks as if they have to read their fruit. Uh, <laughs> just fucking cough. Uh, <laughs> Clear out, man! I know. Uh, <laughs> fucking dirty bastard out there. Do you think we should have more guests on, or people just have a blood enough to attack shit? Per McGurk. McGurk woke up this morning as he buys... <laughs> We had to put five hours on YouTube on. Me I didn't listen to it. Me and him were snoring. <laughs> Man, that's really annoying me. That, like, that's an old age thing now, isn't it? You get to an age where you snore. Like, it's just come on me and it's getting worse. That's Mine's has got better since last. The big massive face. Like, when I was up in the 20 odd zones, it was just. Oh, I'm gonna have to like, I was getting the stage where I was going downstairs and laying on the sofa. I think <laughs> it I'm wasn't gonna, me moving. I think I'm going to record myself tonight. I want to see if I'm mouth breathing or nose. Who's has, has your woman been complaining? No, I'm usually asleep before, but I don't, like man, aye, that's from, like I didn't want to nap. You're I, usually I could, asleep before I, means that she would hear if you're snoring. I well, she's no. usually asleep before you. Aye, aye sorry, right? But uh, maths, ladies and gentlemen. Like I would like to uh, maybe had a nap yesterday in that room, but I was like anxiety that I was just lying there snoring. I like see if I fall asleep now. And see I'd, me fall asleep straight away. Aye, you were snoring away too. And then, like, I fell asleep on the sofa the last day, and the owl was like, you were snoring your fucking head off. Whenever I, I, I was safe enough to fall asleep, you boys, I've been in rooms where you do not, you don't sleep. You tried to pull the nags off me in the middle of the night. What? You tried to rip, the, you tried to rip my nags off. What? You got out of the bed, you grabbed me nags. Sleepwalking? No. Before we went to sleep, you tried to rip the nags, you tried to tear them up my hole. Don't remember that at all, eh? And I wasn't even drunk. A lot of wrestle, Buffy. I like doing that, the boys. Mm, I know you do. Anybody who goes from residential, Sir Blee started arching his back. He wouldn't even fight anymore. Uh, so the last couple, I let him keep him on. Anyone, there's no struggle. <laughs> What's the point? There was a boy from Dublin, big, tall, lanky boy, and uh, they were like, come on, I'm not going to grab my arm. I'm going to drag you out. And then I just, he grabbed my arm and I went like that, and then I just gave him a fucking tug, and he, he nearly went over the clean over the top. He was like, oh, you are strong. McGurk, too. I <laughs> just went like that and pulled him in, took his foot off his arm. <laughs> just and he gets <laughs> Fixes his hair, looks at you. Fucking hard crack, man. I know, but the snoring thing, like. It was some nice hotel, I'm glad. I had a good, decent enough sleep too because I thought, because I had a wee doze during the day, I would not sleep at night, standard. Because you said it was going to be at four o'clock in the morning, Jack. Drinking, but then I was drank, put me, put me to sleep. Sleep at night, like. Mm-hmm. See, see, see the way I feel today, you know, like we're, we have a 40th at the weekend, I'm going to go to Electric Arcade for a while then. I feel like not drinking. I know I am going, eh? Fuck now, no bother. Uh, you can stay off it forever. Aye. It just doesn't take much how to fucking get us going, does it? No. You just have to be fresh. And that first paint's lovely. 
It's mad the environment sets the form, doesn't it? Right? Yeah. See, whenever I was down here and the sun was out, I got a, a glass of beer and I went out and watched Rose singing. And I was getting a buzz off it, like. The beer was lovely, the buzz was there, and what. And then when we decided to drink, I was four pints in, sitting bored down Christie's, going, oh, I don't know, I could go home here, really. <laughs> Did you stop? No. Nah. <laughs> but you, you do get, but you know what I mean? It's like that paint's lovely, and then you just fucking need a lot more then to get where you want to be. No, man, and because uh, I, I went down late too, so they all went on. Because Jack had a match, so I was going to be going down like an hour and a half later, and I knew they were all down there having a crack. I was driving in the fucking road, and fucking road race. Get out of my way! I know people driving slow, and mm. down then I fucking started drinking. And when you drink quick, you have to pee then. Aye. Man, I must have peed in the Hatfield three times before we left. Walked down the street, had to pee again. Pee, pee, pee. I am the same once it starts, once it's flowing. Flow. Another old day. I have thing. to go off it too, but man, I'm fighting in two weeks. Tomorrow? Two weeks from the drinking this week? <laughs> like, I've only about two more nights. <laughs> no, I wanted to stay off it now. And start to exercise and then keep myself fit. You know what I mean? I don't know whether to go or not. And then Thursday? A, do you know what was I telling you? I might be starting a wee radio station. A wee no. chat, eh? Me and Fenton. Drive 105, Tuesdays, half five to half six. An hour? Aye. We're not allowed to curse. You are starting a radio or you are on a radio? We're starting our own cha- radio. Station. Your own show. Channel show uh, station. Hey, not station. station. That's hey, where he's building the station. Techno boy. <laughs> now drive 105. They're, where, where they're they interested. Best? We're meant to go meet them now. And maybe I shouldn't attend this. Where are they best? I think Springtown. That's a dairy. That's a dairy. Do you know all the shows are coming dairy now? Be nice to be in there. And Can you imagine listening to his show? Hey, and next up we have that song. Oh, it's your man. I fucking in used, the to, used to do the thing with the. Um, was married to her? Yep. Uh, How are you going to remember any song? Fenton's going to have to do all that heavy work. So does he have to, like. I'll have you on as a guest and all, like. But you can't uh, curse. No. I'll have, like, whatever's coming up. If we're on, we're on about bringing the Big Massive Live podcast. Dairy, dairy, ladies and gentlemen. It's a different audience. You know what I mean? But a bigger reach. We have better reach for those things we're doing in the Northwest and stuff. But who, do you have to like pick an hour's worth of songs? Is that how it works? No, but it was, like you can chat. I don't know what it's going to be unique. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I'm going to have people up. I'm going to have guests and stuff. And maybe your favorite songs and da 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 da. I don't know, but I think it's just I, just diversifying. Radio. That's great running. And next uh, up, we have Bonnie Tyler with "I Need a Hero." I need a hero. <laughs> I need a, but that's yeah. the kind of thing you're going to be doing. Ha <laughs> 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 Funny story, Finn. <laughs> and next up, we have Funny Boy by Paul McCartney. <laughs> <laughs> Got a funny story for you, Finn. I'm going to put on my bumper car. No. The bumper car fucking voice. Yeah. Like, what do you want to call him, does? What way does that go again? Uh, Hope you're going to enjoy the evening, people. Up next, we've got Bonnie Tyler. <coughs> All that fucking jazz, eh? Sure, I'm a bit of new skill. We'll see how it goes. So that's happening. I'm on a couple of podcasts this week. And... Derry, stand-up. So that the... the and a skill in stand-up. One of them's a live podcast. Live podcast. And let her tell you can bring out all the old jokes there, because nobody knows you. Mm. All nobody knows the know. stories. We need to... That's another... That's the way I'm doing it. Reaching out. Reaching out to the other people. That's how you do it. But the, it's Donegal, isn't it? Donegal. Do they have... They still have fucking iPods, do they? Do they laugh? Do they... <coughs> I don't know. Jaws 1 still in the cinema in there, can't I? Mm. Tune to last day. Bon bag, some crack. It's a nice looking wee place. Donegal's probably the nicest looking county. Is it? It's in the warehouse, isn't it? Do you know where it is? Aye. Do you want to give me a lift? <laughs> Friday night? Fred and Nate, they just wanted me to jump on, but then they asked me what to do about a stand-up first. I said, hey, why not? I'm a comedian. That's what I do. But, but what's the setup? I haven't a clue. It's a bar, like. Is it? Oh, I'm happy it is. Don't know. It's a nice bar. So I uh, don't hear Fred and Nate to have seven or so. I think Jason Craig, we must be on it because some I've been talking to me. So we could have Craig. The warehouse? The last time I was in the and warehouse, Noel killed a man. You know Noel? Ah. Fitness man. Mm. He's starting a new podcast, him and his mate. On Thursday, I'm doing that. So Thursday and Friday, I'm doing two pods, but his is 
It's all to do with fitness and people that are under exercise who's, and all. Who's, you know? who's his mate? I think it's because I'm fighting girls. Is that Seamus Fox? Probably. Don't know. They ha- he had a podcast before. I can tell you now. My phone's too far away. Did I? Somebody says that I... You were Ronan saying Boyle's on a fitness podcast. Like, he's one of the experts. Mm. And here we have fitness expert Ronan and Boyle. Too far away. <laughs> so, Ronan... What's your favourite protein snacks? Hey, hey, man, like, I got the turkey thing, and you know what? I beat it. I beat it. That. There's ways around it. Turkey dinosaurs. <laughs> Just eat the way at them all. You can tell them how you got the, the, the <clears> sleeve, <throat> but you beat it. Like, you I'm know, you know, the, mention, you know the cheat code. I'm not going to mention the sleeve. I <laughs> got there naturally. <laughs> it's very hard work. No, the I think they want to chat about the... See, them boys know why I was a martial artist back in my day. So they want to chat about that stuff, and I don't know. And they don't fight and get us. I think it's that. So they want me to be funny. I was like, yeah, stop fucking threatening me, boys. We'll see what happens. No, he's got a fighter too. Uh, he, did he have uh, PT wars over COVID, man? Ah, uh, wasn't everybody. Is this going on? <laughs> How did I know him? How did I know him? I don't know. Maybe. Did I do kick, did I kickbox? Not sure. Maybe. So I had that and two gigs coming up. Next week I'm doing laveries, but I'm doing like. A corporate first that I've already been paid for. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's like doing a hateful job with your money. You got the money three months beforehand. You've already been paid? Already paid. Second on there. Probably spent it now. That seems like a free gig. Aye. Because that'll be long spent by the time I do it. Like. Aye. So I'm doing that and then I'm going straight in the average then after it. Just to work on it just in time. That's next one. About five gigs next week, eh? I'm getting about 15 a month now. Flat out. Same, sir. Um, my, everything's ramping up again, huh? Why do we do it? Oh, I just need, like... Now I'm starting my own radio channel. I know. <laughs> well, when is it? I was hoping maybe do this, the radio and then straight here and do the pod. Get it all banged out on a Tuesday. So there, get on the airwaves. Be clean during the day and dirty at night. <laughs> Oh, see when you do dirty talk. <laughs> I'm fucking good at it. Dirty. Dirty. What are you doing yourself? Wild gum. <laughs> fucking bald whales stuck in my hole. Fucking wild gum. <laughs> Somebody was saying that today. Wild garden. They're going wild gum. Uh, get it out of Like all gum. <laughs> Sometimes words just don't come out with it. Oh, and I'm I serious for it. I watched the podcast back. The new clips. I'm going. What can you even speak? Like I'm very neanderthalic. Is that a word? <laughs> Uh, no, no, my no. words are probably getting better as we did this. See, before, like I must have just barked before we started the fucking podcast. Mm. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Seriously, that's the fucking the bodybuilder pee break. Oh fuck! See, have you, have you ever heard this here? What is here? Do you want to eat an egg? Hmm. Do you want to eat a hundred year old? No, egg? what was that about, sir? What was we? That's we've recorded. <laughs> Was it recorded? I uh, was it recorded. I don't know if it was the. Uh, might do. We clip on it for, what, from the Latin two things ago. The Kelly one. Still thinking about it. What is this here? No, I think the the, they spent the other one was good too. Days arguing how many at bodybuilding forum where they spent like five days arguing how many days there were in a week. All time internet. Uh, thread. Yeah. Oh, I, don't, I don't know. What is that in here about this? What is this? Well, let, let's bring the thread up. Big T. I, I have it. It's okay. long, so I'm trying to. The, the original post is Is it safe to do a full body workout every other day? I only have limited days I can get to the gym, and lately, instead of doing upper body or lower body, I just do full body strength workouts. If I go every other day, I will be at the gym four to five times a week. Is that overtraining? Somebody says that makes no sense. There's seven days in a week. If you go every other day, that's three and a half times a week. And this guy responds, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. That is four days. How do you go three and a half times? Do a half workout or something? <laughs> then guy goes, seven times in two weeks equals three and a half times a week, genius. And yeah, three times a week, full body workouts are good. Then here's where <laughs> so this guy says, I never said anything about going exactly seven times. If I go every other day, that is four days a week. How hard is that to comprehend? Week one, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Week two, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. Eight days in two weeks. In your terms, eight times in two weeks equals four times a week. Genius. All muscle and no brains. LOL. 
You double counted Sunday. That's two weeks plus a day. Did you fail grade two math? Plus your old post set four or five times a week. Now you just neglect the five. Grow up and admit when you're wrong. The next one, uh, I think this word's back. Are you good? Maybe you should look at a calendar. I didn't double count Sunday. My two weeks started and ended on Sunday exactly 14 days. What don't you understand? Edit, here's a calendar. I made little dots for each day so you can comprehend. Dude, that is 15 days. Are you that effing mental? You can't have a week go Sunday to Saturday, then Sunday to Sunday. Don't let the damn pic you posted count the days. Uh, it's 14 days. Try again. Maybe you should try counting on your fingers. Uh, count the fucking days. Says, How many days are in two weeks, you moron? 14. And it just goes on and on and on and on. It goes on for days. Uh, <laughs> Who's on for it? Fucking every day. Do you know what? I, I, for parts of that, I couldn't understand, but then I seen he was counting the Sunday twice. Uh, man, there was a boy that used to be the gym where you we went in there, and it was massive, like the Hulk. But se- I think it was £7 for the week. Something like that, like seven, maybe been seven or eight pounds, eight pounds, say, for the week's gym. And you had to give him a five and three pound coins, or you're standing for an hour. You give him a tenner and he just stares at the <laughs> fucking on the sides of him, like, but you just knew the brain wasn't working. And I was going two pound. And he just look at me one, as if he wanted to fight. Wouldn't take it out and then starts counting again, but I was just staring at it. And I was just thinking, is it, is it on the, there's no, the main muscle not work when you've got big muscles. Hey man, did you see the release of the new gym today? Aye. You see it? The Malsbys, Malsbys must be quaking in their boots. I don't know. I don't think leisure centres and gyms. If you get it like a fucking steel there gym, mm. with pools and saunas and Pools and showers. saunas and showers and all the big bonus. For the same like. price? Cheaper? Hey, down the canal basin, next to my house. Supper. <laughs> Round the corner from you. Uh, that's the canal basin, isn't it? Uh, I think that's where they're putting it. Uh, out of listening to fun, all the wee webbed feet from listening to fun. Now that's it's, they'll have to de- de- devolve. Everybody in listening to fun's webbed feet because they're McCoggins can't swim. They're oh. one of the McCoggins. Lived in front of the pool. And they looked deformed. And they used to throw people into the quarry. Oh, bastards. They couldn't swim. <laughs> you went up to the quarry, threw you off the peak. <laughs> Went swim. He can't swim. He couldn't have moved Paddy anyway, them days. No. The immovable object. The quarry, eh? The Fuck you done the danger stuff, like. I didn't do anything that I had to clear, if you know what I mean. Like, there was distance. Like, if you had to go from there to there. I if it was uh, a drop. I remember Cack Rock. Did you ever go up to the quarry? Cack Rock, you had to jump way out. Aye. That, do you know the baby rock when you walked on? Aye. That was where everybody jumped. Aye. Well, the boys ran from the, the road or the grass and jumped all that, and there's boys oh. just fucking. Uh, boys skipped their what was the, the what was the big one called? The wire. The wire. That was good. Sean, Mc, Sean McGregor. I always mind him doing it all. The he time. dived it. Oh my god! Where's the cat? Soap McGillian as well. Fucking butterflies. Did you ever see them? I've swam across it a few times too. Did you ever see them videos of boys diving under water and then fucking just floating up because they're the slap of the water? Like? What do you mean? Like they they land. Like, Flat? Uh, it's like hitting cement, like oh, it's aye. belly flapping. Aye. Even do you ever come off of a uh, well, uh, water ski fucking fast? Do you know them boys? Uh, fucking, you had some speed, you had a fucking wave, boom. You just drive back to land. Oh, sure, man. Well, see, when we were in the, the sea uh, last night, man, sometimes when the sea was hitting you at the side of the head, man, it was like a box in the head. Aye. Like when a wave hits you, boom. That's you're just gnawing to the sea, just swallow you up. The vastness. The vastness of it all. It's far more sea than the land. <laughs> See, you, you come here right. for learning, ladies and gentlemen. That's you what are, this is about. This is are, educational and right. a wee bit of crack. Hey, and what there. about the the Euros start this weekend? Friday night? Hey, what do you think, England? Iceland beat them there, didn't they? Was it uh, Iceland? I wouldn't read too much on their friendlies. Like. They have some fucking team, like. Aye. But they're cackers, like. I think it was at uh, Car- Portugal, I think. Carragher was saying that <clears throat> Germany's player of the year was Harry Kane, Englishman. Uh, Spain's, Spain's player of the year, Englishman. Jude Bellingham. Foden, England. All the top leagues players of the year were English. Would that class them as world class? Is, but, but is but Bellingham uh, world class? No. Is it not? He's fucking terrible there at the end of the season. 
the Champions League. He barely kicked it. Like, shut up. Terrible, wasn't he, Mark? You watch it much of it? He didn't kick it. Foden, world class. How uh, did he not world class when they won the best player of the season? I suppose there's players that do that too. But is that not a wild English buy? Like, is that what the Spain papers are calling fucking Jude Bellingham? The players. Aye, no, he was. Did he get the trophy? Aye, it wasn't England to give it to him. Like, well, but he actually voted Spain's player of the season by yes, the Spanish league. Yeah. You don't know 100%. that. 100%. <laughs> percent million percent. And then Foden, uh, he won the player's player and the writer's player and fucking manager's player of the year. <laughs> Is that even a thing? So what would your team be? Ireland? Yeah! <laughs> Scotland's on it. <coughs> uh, they, they, they play on Friday night against Germany. They open it up against Germany. Who's the favourite? Portugal? England. Are they? England, France, Portugal. They've got, like, a, a going forward, they look world-class on paper, but the defence wouldn't be. Yeah, who's, just, who's the defenders? Maguire. John Walker. Maguire's Stones. out. Is Maguire out? Stones. I bet he's not going to do it. And one. what do you call him? Gomez, I would have. There's a couple of players I've never even heard of. Uh, Stafford, is it? What do you call him? Or I, how do we Wheat not? Staff or how do we, there's a couple of players I don't either. And you're going, how does that get past us? Not watching any games that aren't Liverpool. <laughs> Gomez went, didn't he? He's a... That's Wait, a strange one. what do you call him? Grealish didn't make it? No. Imagine having a £100 million player that doesn't go and play in a world or in a Euros. Mm. I would have him on. He's great, like. Did he not play for Man City much this year? No. Right. Bad that, parts. That must be it, then. Wasn't starting. Dookie. 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 You buy from Star Wars, started a lot. <laughs> Count Dookie. <laughs> General Dookie, whatever the fuck it was called. Count Dookie, like. What time is it? There's a new Star Wars too. Did you watch that now? The Acolyte, Mark? I get is it a series? What about that one with Humber Dick called Bunker Dank? Good. Is it good? I like that. Uh, All right, it must go. Eric? Eric? Uh, it's banana, man. What else? What? Oh, man, was I telling you about that? Did I mention Sugar now, Colin Farrell? No, you told me it was weird. I was like, a, it's like a. It's like a class detective that harkens back to like the 1950s where he wears a suit and it cuts on there like, you know, like all the, the old black detective shows and he's beating boys up when he's searching for a girl. Man, then it just takes the fucking weirdest turn. Is it like a time traveling? No. So there's like a couple of times he gets in a fight and something happens where he just gets out of it and you're like, what the fuck happened there? And when he's driving around, all these people are staring at him and it doesn't really reference Is he dead? it. No. Uh, spoiler alert turn off your TV th- in 3 2 1 they're aliens why did you tell me they're aliens you're not going to watch it? it you're not going to watch it he's an alien he's, they're all uh, there's a whole <coughs> there's all these aliens do you remember the show Roddy Roddy Piper that Roddy Roddy Piper Roddy Roddy Piper do you remember that <laughs> he can only see aliens they love that was decent wasn't it I don't think I've ever seen it I think I might have just seen it on TikTok or something <laughs> <coughs> He's the only one I could see the aliens. Aye. Give it a watch. You ever see Planet of the Apes? <laughs> I'm watching a good show, Immaculate. What? It's like this this woman has she goes to this nunnery, but there's like weird stuff happening and then she becomes pregnant without oh, Immaculate conception, but it might be the devil. <gasps> good? Uh, Is it a good. movie? Mm. Might give it an old blast. Few good movies here. Did you watch the League of Gentlemanly Warfare? It's alright. Mm. Uh, well, I like Boy Kills World. That's very good. Action one. He wears a gorilla face. Aye. Uh, no. The monkey. No, that's the Monkey Man. That was good. I haven't watched that yet. Good. No, Boy Kills World. He doesn't speak, but he has a voiceover. It's funny. Right. It's gory. Right. That's very good. Boy Kills World. Boy Kills World. Right. Look at that. There's a wee twist at the end of it. They're all aliens. They're not. Give it away. Right, let's go. 50 minutes. Hey, no that's questions, enough. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, tune in next week. There may be a podcast. There may not be a podcast. Ronald's drinking. Fun. I'm not drinking. You see, Ronald will say to me, hey. Anybody that wants to watch me fighting, there's a fucking link somewhere. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to go here. I'm going to be on myself the whole night. Sure, Arlen. Uh, you'll be sitting on your own? Uh, and then they'll be at the back. And you'll be at the back. I'll probably won't even see you. Sell your tickets. Like, uh, the stream's probably better for me. You'll enjoy the stream. Like. Uh, My big face. 
I don't know. Anybody wants to watch them, right? It's two weeks. Hey, the few... few well, the time must come to us next week. Few fights hotting up. Who? Paddy getting stuck on there, Mikey. Jesus, it was rough there, wasn't it? There's, there's a wee bit of... There's going to be a wee Mickey bit of... seems to be just saying, uh, listen, it's for charity. That's what we're doing. It'll be a good time for us all to come and bond and all out there. Or as he started really going... <laughs> he's bound to be. He's playing a cool, like... We're Paddy's shouting There's out. a wee bit of money in the game, like, there's a wee bit of... But Paddy's calling him the underdog, as the word that come out of. That's yeah. Paddy's approach. He's doing some training. Like so he's well slimmed the, down, Paddy. The weight's fairly fell off me. He's confident, like... Well, he's super confident. Aye. Uh, so sorry to took another fight next month. Uh, you say that every podcast, don't you? Doesn't it matter? Every single podcast. Right, let's get out of here. Fuck that We shit. were chatting about the same fucking subject, so you're going to hear the same information. Watch me on fighting. Love Where the is the link? Box. I love the box. You, what? Where is the link? It's fucking... You probably get a Shane Todd's page. <laughs> I put it on. I think I shared it. I shared it on Ronan Roboy Comedy on Facebook and on stuff, so... We link in, get the fiver, and it goes to the children's cancer unit, so. This is out next Wednesday. Things already been on. Wally Thompson's that evening. Ah, do you want no, to... Wally's next Friday. Aye, well then, do you want to promote that? Aye, so, <laughs> good man, William Thompson. I'll tell you what, there's two shows. There's one now on Friday. William Thompson is bringing his work in progress to here before he goes off to Edinburgh. So it's all new material, and it's great that I've heard from it. Get down here, and he's going to... It's gonna only six pounds. Six sheets. And the following Thursday, then, we've got the legend back, Mickey Bartlett. Ah, definitely come down to see that again. And there's still a few tickets there for that. And here, Mickey Bartlett is better than fucking going and seeing him in the SSC arena, right I'm telling is, you. Uh, this is the room for it. Come on down. Yeah. And that's fucking organised. And then next month, like, I've nearly got gigs in here every week. The Avelli coming up, Rory Woods coming up, McCarney. Some good ones, eh? So, some good ones, but let's come. Let's come and have a bit let's of fun. Let's come. Oh. Let's, ah, I love your place. Oh. Right up at fucking house. <laughs>